Hi kids, today we're going to Africa. Are you excited? I have a book to read to you. It's called, We All Went, Saf we All Went On Safari. This is a counting journey through the country of Tanzania, which is in Africa. A lot of cool animals live in Africa. Do you know any animals that live in Africa? We're gonna read about some in this book. We all went on safari. When the day had just begun, we spied a lonely leopard and Arusha counted one. We all went on safari over grassland stamped with dew. We came across some ostriches and Mosey counted two. We all went on safari past an old ac acacia tree. Nearby giraffes were grazing, so Tumpe counted three. We all went on safari to the ancient crater floor. We heard a lonely lord, we heard some lordly lions, and Wambe counted four. We all went on safari where the lake birds swim and dive. Up bobbed some hefty hippos, and Akila counted five. We all went on safari among herds that intermix. We followed woolly wildebeests, and Watande counted six. We all went on safari with the sun high in the heaven. We spotted zigzag zebras, and Zerilla counted seven. We all went on safari near the Serengeti gate. We startled wiry warthogs and Sahuba counted eight. We all went on safari where the treetops intertwine. We met mischievous monkeys and Doto counted nine. We all, we all went on safari through a rocky hillside glen. We watched enormous elephants and Bodru counted 10. We all went on safari in the sunset's fading light. We built ourselves a campfire and bid our friends good night. So here are some of the animals that live in Tanzania. We have the leopard, the lion, the ostrich, the hippopotamus, the giraffe, the common wildebeest, the plains zebra, the warthog, and the vervet monkey and the elephant. And this is a little about the Maasai people who live in Tanzania. The Maasai people of East Africa live where northern Tanzania meets southern Kenya. Several families cluster together in small villages. They build their huts out of mud, sticks, grass, and cow dung. Together they care for a large herd of cattle, the tribe's most important activity. When grazing is good and the pastures are rich, the people stay in the settlement. And when the land dries out and the seasons change, the group moves on to find fresh water and new pastures for their cattle. The Maasai are a proud people. Standing tall and handsome in their cloaks of rich red fabric, men and women adorn themselves with beautiful beaded earrings and necklaces. Some men have fancy hairstyles and wear elaborate headdresses. The women usually shave their heads and wear wide white circular collars that bounce rhythmically as they move. For thousands of years, the Maasai have lived amidst the wild life of East Africa. But in today's rapidly changing world, they are struggling to preserve their way of life as one of the last pastoral cultures on the earth. And this page tells us about some of the names in the book. There was all those Swahili names. So Swahili is the language that they speak and the names, I love the names, they were so pretty. We had Arusha and Mozi and Tumpe and Mbambwe, Akaila, Akaila, yeah, uh, Watande, Zarilla, Shurhuba, Doto, and Bodru. And here's the country of Tanzania. And here's counting in Swahili. Do you want to learn how to count in Swahili? So one is Moja, two, Mbili. Three, Tatu. Four, Enne. Five, Tano. Six, Sita. Seven, Saba. Eight, Nane. Nine, 
Tisa. Ten. Kumi. We learned another language today. How fun. All right. Are you ready for the next project? We're going to make a drum. Pretty fun. So you have a piece of paper in your bag that you can go ahead and color and decorate it however you want. Add patterns, add colors, rainbow, whatever you want to do. And then you have a bottom lid and a top lid. Your parents can probably help you glue those on and go ahead and tape that into a cylinder shape. And then you can practice drumming. What kind of drum patterns can you make up? Have fun. I'll see you next time. I wonder where we're going next time. Bye for now.